Do you remember the feeling you felt the first time you raced? Exhilarating. <laughs> <laughs> it gave you a chill, bro. It's, it's like a high, you, you scared? know? Nah, scared of what? Scared I wanna, of wreck out? Nah, I want to go fast. Win. Yeah, I like to go fast. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I know. Hey, 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 man, I'm gonna tell you something. Your family wants we get you in here, Sage. Oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm, I'm right here. Sage Thomas in the building, man. Dunk Masters is here, man. Oh, yeah. City to city, state to state. Y'all are knowing you Man, <laughs> I love your energy, man. Oh, yeah, I gotta do it. And you know what, man? When I met you, you laid back. But when you come, hey, you come alive, I watch I your video. I gotta turn it on. I watch your videos. I gotta turn it on. I gotta turn it on. I gotta turn it on. That's why right. you get him going. He ain't just like them chefs. It take him a little time to get going. Mm. Once he get going, can't stop him, you I, know? Like, I like to bet that money. I like to talk about that money talk. That's I, I can do. tell. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you like to do. Okay, I know you grew up in, well, no, you were born in Atlanta. Savannah, Georgia. Savannah. Yeah. I, keep, I call it everywhere Atlanta. Anywhere uh -huh. in Georgia is Atlanta to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, you went to South Carolina, right? Yep, yep. Why, did you, why did you go to South Carolina? So, so my mother was uh, originally from Hardyville, South Carolina, but she right. was teaching in Savannah, Georgia. Okay. So I was born in Savannah, Georgia, and then we moved to Hardyville when I was uh, about two or three years old. Two or three? Yeah, the so Hardyville. you don't remember Savannah. nothing about Georgia? Nah, yeah, yeah, but we went back. So yeah, after, okay. I, after I went to Hardyville for a couple of years, we stayed there, and then I continued to go to school in Savannah, Georgia. Okay. So I was down in Savannah, Georgia until I was about 12 years old, mm -hmm. and then we moved to Orangeburg, South Carolina. Uh, that's when I really started messing with the cars and all the stuff. Which one do you like better? What's one? At um, Georgia or South Carolina? I like Orangeburg. I Why? like I, I like because that's what that's what made me. You know what I mean? Yeah. The country. So you you know what I mean? Just different resources in Orangeburg and learning how to do different things. And in Savannah is a pretty a bigger city, so mm -hmm. you have a lot of other stuff going on. They got colleges and stuff there too, like Orangeburg, but it's just a different atmosphere from Orangeburg. To and it Savannah. was your uncle who introduced you to the cars, right? Oh yeah, my my uncle Buggy. Uncle Buggy. Yeah, so my uncle Buggy showed me about the cars. He used to take us to mud races, boat races, horse races. All different kind of stuff in the country. Wow. Yeah. How old were you the first time you raced? I actually started racing when I was about eight years old. But we raced dirt bikes and goat carts. Oh, that's so, what you raced? Yeah. In the beginning, we used to race uh, goat carts. They call them a yard cart uh -huh. with, a, with a little five horsepower motor on the back. Mm -hmm. And we, we would race those. Um, Do you remember the feeling you felt the first time you raced? Exhilarating. <laughs> <laughs> they give you chill, bro. It's, it's like a high, you, you know? Nah, scared of what? Scared wanna, of wreck out? Nah, you I want to go fast. Win. Yeah, I like to go fast. Because, see, my cousin is the same age as me. We're about three months apart. Uh -huh. So my uncle's son is, is my cousin, Todd. Me and him is the exact same age, just three months apart. So anything he had or we had together, we always shared and we raced and we just were real competitive. You're an adrenaline junkie. I love it. So you'd be jumping it. out of planes and everything? Not yet, but I would, we've been parasailing. <laughs> like, oh yeah, now yeah, nah, me and my lady travel the world and we go do different things uh -huh. like ride camels and parasail and ride boats. But go camels scuba diving. is camels that's is dope. safe. Scuba yeah. diving is safe. I'm talking something that's gonna make your heart jump out of Bungie your body jumping. like bungee jumping, like, parasailing. Like, yeah, we we did. And matter of fact, we, I'm not, now I'm training to get my pilot license. So Are she you actually, serious? yeah, she actually bought me some classes to go get my pilot license. So we just flew that's some cool. some planes and stuff like that. Yeah, I, you know what I mean. She she want to make sure I'm well rounded and I like it. She like the adventure just like me. So this is what we like to do. That's dope, oh, that's man. Dope. Oh yeah, that's dope. Yeah. You, you, is she learning too? I don't know. She she in the back seat. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right now she say she want to learn. So you know, I'm, I'm we with it. Okay. That's so is it? I mean, you guys are like touring. Y'all going around like city to city, state to state, all the country to country. We Do all over the place. Where's the furthest place y'all went away from uh, South Carolina? Morocco, Africa. Whoa. Oh, yeah, we was in Fed. You, you took some cars over there? Nah, nah, yeah. We went over there to go observe the land and see what's okay. going on, and then we we're going to eventually take the cars over there, put them on a boat or a plane, and, you know, just take them over take there. Take them over What's there? the thing you love the most about over there? In Morocco? Uh -huh. The food is real clean. Really? And plus, they only eat whatever is in season. So a lot of places you go, they don't have refrigerators over there. A lot of people don't know that, but in Morocco, you only eat what's in season. That's so if dope. they got strawberries or potatoes this month, that's what you go eat. But if they're if they not, you're not going to be able to eat that three months from now because something else is in the season. Right, that's, that's fruit-wise, but like yeah. as meat, you get it all the time, right? Yeah, you do get it all the time, but it does taste different in different seasons, they say. In so, the meats? Yeah, so really? like chicken, like I a lot of stuff we ate, ate over there was like chicken, uh, we had a lot of beef, goat, stuff like that. Because mm -hmm. like in Jamaica, the same thing goes where fruits are concerned. You only get like the Jamaican apples certain time of the year, mm -hmm. the Guinness, the mangoes certain yep. time of the years and stuff like that. The same thing. Yeah, the same way, just over there. And over there, you got to go on a market and the market is like an alley. Mm -hmm. So it's an alley where they might have 
camel meat on this side, then they right. might have fish over here, then they might have figs over there, but you just got to pick whoever got the best. But Was, nah. the, was that the first time you had goat meat? No, no, no. Nah, nah. nah, I ate I ate a lot of golden stuff when I was uh, younger, and plus I ate it in Savannah. And when I lived in the islands, I stayed in Barbuda for a year. Mm. Also, yeah, because my father from uh, Barbuda. Okay, but you know this how everybody cook it different now. Oh yeah, yeah, it tastes real different. So over <laughs> there, they they cook everything like in a tarjan, like they, like clay pots where they uh-huh. heat them with coal and stuff under uh-huh. it. But nah, it's real, it's real, real good. All the food over there is real good. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.